So if there's any basketball fans among you, you might be aware that Michael Jordan, generally regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, had a weird phase where he decided to play baseball instead. And it was a complete disaster and no one like no one talks about it anymore. Um, so in that spirit, uh, welcome to the first episode of Bell's Kitchen, um, where I, Sean Bell, am going to be making food. This uh, has been made possible by the fact that we beat one of our Patreon stretch goals, which is amazing. Um, that we've already said this in multiple different formats, but thank you so much to everyone who's, who's donated. Um, oh, we've got a sub already. Thank you, Alex Blobfish. Um, so, where it's going? Oh, so first off, I should point out, I spent part of so your Patreon money <laughs> went on um, this apron, which has got the it's got the logo on it, but it's just a bit low down, so you're not going to see that <laughs> most of the time. Um, so just to give you an idea of the setup, you know, I know Matt was tweeting about how impressive the setup is and stuff. I mean, it looks awful from where I'm stood. Um, but basically, so we've got, where are we? So I've got one camera here, which is going to be showing, like, so that's where I'm going to be doing most of my prep and stuff. Um, and then, <laughs> uh, what else have we got? And I've got a camera on the hob, which at the moment will reveal that I've cheated and, and pre-measured a bunch of stuff. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I mean, I, I was going to get like a radio mic, which I might um, at some point uh, once, you know, bit, some of the more, more money comes in. Um, but at the moment, I've just got the Blue Yeti mic set up. Um, no one said it sounds shit. So I've realised I've just sworn and I promised James I wouldn't swear because I think he's got the family watching. James, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Um, right. So today we're making um, salmon and lentils with uh, asparagus and chorizo and a uh, balsamic glaze and we're also making a sticky toffee pudding. However, I'm going to make the sticky toffee pudding first because that takes about 45 minutes in the oven. Um, so yeah, so I think I'll, I'll make that up first, get that in the oven and then do the salmon and lentils, which actually is relatively quick to make. However, I think it'll balance itself out because I haven't made the salmon and lentils before. It's one normally um, new makes it, but it's really good. It should, apparently, it only takes 15 minutes, but I've never done it before, so let's double that. Um, it should work out. Um, so, yeah. Here's how you make a sticky toffee pudding. Um, this is, I'm, I feel like I should probably declare where all the recipes are from because, like, Lord knows I'm not clever enough to, like, make them up myself. Um, so this this is actually a Nigella recipe. This is on on her website um, and is listed as easy sticky toffee pudding because it is. It's like the easiest thing you'll ever make, and it's incredible. Like I've had so many compliments when I've made this for people. Um, so yeah, basically, if I don't think anyone's making this along with me live, but if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact or whatever, and you want to make this along with me, um, so. For the pudding itself, you need 100 grams of dark brown, ideally muscovado sugar, uh, 175 grams of self-raising flour, 125 milliliters of full fat milk, one large egg, large egg, um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, uh, 50 grams of unsalted butter, which you have to melt before you uh, chuck it in, and then 200 grams of chopped dates. And then for the sauce, Sauce is a strong term, which you'll see why in a bit. Um, 200 grams of dark brown muscovado sugar, 25 grams of unsalted butter. In, you don't have to melt that one, just in little pieces. Um, and then 500 milliliters of boiling water. Um, that's it. Pretty pretty good. Obviously, you'll probably want some cream or something to serve it with, which I, just, I don't think I bought any, actually. What an idiot. Yeah, never mind. Well, that's all right. I mean, don't bother you guys. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> so basically, oh yeah, um, also you're supposed to have like a, a a dish with all like, you know, like oiled or buttered or whatever, um, so that it doesn't stick in the oven. However, I just use one of these fellas, it's silicon, and you just bung whatever in it and it doesn't matter. It's fine, nothing sticks. Um, right, so, mixing bowl. Is that is that really loud when I do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you literally this you'll be alarmed how how quick this is so there's your flour in it goes and then you have your whatever it was like 100 grams of dark brown sugar Hang on a minute. Forgot me wooden spoon, didn't I? Get just mix that together. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make such a mess doing this, by the way. Um, what's that? Auto focus is a bit bomb inducing. Uh, nothing I can do about that, other than buy more expensive cameras one day. So you know, stay tuned. <laughs> Where are we? Move my phone. All right, bloody hell. The spoon does not have a computer game show logo on it, unfortunately. Um, God, this is all in lumps. What a faff. Right, that'll do. And then you need one of them. Measuring jug. Um, it says use it says to use full fat milk. Um, in the in the recipe, um, but I mean, we've used semi skims because that's usually what we have in. Hasn't really. Fucking hell! I'm trying to pour it. Not taking the. There. Where are we? Not taking that off. Bloody hell! Absolute professional. What was it? 175 mil. I'm sure it's fine. I could use cream filer. We ain't got any. I messed up. Right, and then we've got the butter, which I've already melted because I'm cheating. Partly because the, the laptop and the microphone is currently sat on top of the um, microwave, so it'll be a disaster. It'll just, it'll be like <laughs> for 30 seconds or whatever. Um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Got that, got that. Vanilla extract. So, because I'm a ponce, we've got homemade vanilla extract. Which is actually dead easy. All you need is, when you, if you use vanilla, like vanilla sticks for something else, um, is everyone upset because I melt butter in the microwave? What's wrong with that? <laughs> um, yeah, homemade vanilla extract, literally all you need. So if you ever use vanilla sticks for something that you've baked, um, or what are made, whatever, um, the, the sticks, after you've got all the seeds out and stuff, then you just be like spent sticks. Literally put them in a thing with some, like the cheapest vodka you can find. <laughs> And that's how you, and then just leave it for like a week. That's how you make vanilla extract. And once you've started it, you just over time you just switch out the the sticks every so often and and more vodka. That's it. Um, now it says to use one teaspoon. I really like vanilla, so I'm just going to go ahead and just pour like that much, in. <laughs> which is probably two to three times as much as you meant to put in. But hey ho. Um, Egg, one egg. I keep I keep holding it like that. There. there, egg. There is an egg. Um, can you show me how to make the midnight resistance drink next time? Um, I've been tempted to do a, a soft drink one, but um, we'll see. The problem with doing one of those is to make a soft drink, you just basically spend like an hour just watching it slowly melt the sugar. Might not be that interesting. Also, as a side note, I think most people who received the Midnight Resistance sugar uh, soda didn't actually think it was that nice. So, <laughs> um, so there's also that to consider. Right, butter in. Give that a whisk.
So that's basically it, right? You just... <laughs> well, actually, uh, shall I? I'll, I'll chop the dates. They're already pitted, but let's not be savages. Yes, I did wash my hands. Thank you. I mean, again, you're supposed to use 200 grams of these. I'm just gonna just chuck them in. It's fine. I mean, I suppose that bag's 500. So if I just do about half of them, Colin Ross will see phoning the police because I'm not measuring me, uh, me dates. I am pretty uh, off the chain, to be fair. Um, <laughs> so I've just seen Matt. Uh, can everyone back the Patreon so Sean can afford a whisk? I mean, we've got like an electric one. It just seemed a bit excessive for just like an egg and some milk. And uh, not a lot, and some melted butter, and that's basically it. Um, they're not Waitrose dates. They're, everything's from Morrison's, well, most of it's from Morrison's, because that's where I went last night to grab some of the stuff for this. Um, that looks like enough dates to me, because why ruin a good dessert with fruit? I mean. So yeah, and then just give that another, yeah, because all the butter's gone weird. <laughs> Pour that in. And then just fold it for a bit. I don't know enough about cooking to elegantly talk about like what's folding and what's just stirring. I gather folding is where you just make a point of like scooping a load round and then go way over the top like that. I don't know what difference it makes, but the instructions say fold it in. So I'm folding it, I think. Where's the background music? There isn't any, because it turns out like, there's not a lot of music you can use on Twitch. It's really annoying. Maybe I should strike up an official licensing deal with someone. <laughs> Rudy73 says it puts air in it. That is a fine point. Like making a samurai sword, mate. Thousand layers. Or was it a million? I can't remember. Sorry, I've just got a terrifying message you know this 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 problem with wearing a bloody smartwatch um this whole uh, snapchat putting in filters for gender swapping and age changing stuff every so often i'll just get a horrible picture of someone i know as an 80 year old man <sighs> i mean that looks pretty well folded to me um Hang on a minute. Let's chuck these out of the way. They're done. Hang on a minute. I should be I should be like paying attention to the camera here, shouldn't I? That's how you spoon things from one container into another container. Did you know? How's the, the chat going? Is the autofocus really that bad? I honestly don't think I can turn it off. I don't
I wonder why it's having such difficulty with it. Right, so there's that. Give it a give it a wiggle, flatten it out a bit. It'll look really flat, but that's fine. That's why we use self-raising flour, isn't it? Um, oh, can you hear the dog? Yeah, she's messing around, like somewhere in the next room. So that's that. Obviously, if you're a scumbag like me, perfectly good. Just get a spoon. Just go to town on the. <laughs> The batter that you've made in the bowl. It's fine. I mean, it's not, you might get, I don't know, salmonella or something, but you know, whatever. <laughs> James, I will lick the bowl out, just not on camera. I'm not a, you know, it's not that, it's not that sort of show. Do you know what I mean? Right, now for the weird bit. I've just put the kettle on. That'll get noisy in a minute. I did do a sound test and it wasn't too annoying. Um, Kieran Winter, I'll donate if you lick the bowl. What are the what are the terms? Do I need to? Surely I don't need to empty it out. It's massive. Oh Matt, you can't. Okay, so you can you can turn autofocus off. I can't look. It's bloody huge. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> I mean, I'm just having a go on the spoon. That's not even for the money. That's just for my own my own pleasure. Are you, are you serious? You want me? To, you serious? You want me to lick the fucking? Sorry, I just swore again. Sorry, James. This I can't physically get in. It's too big. It's just. <laughs> Because if I do, if I, if I do it like like that, then it's all on my face, and I just it's not. I'm sorry, it's physically impossible. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll carry on with the spoon. Just gonna wash my face. Maybe a minute. Is this what you guys want? Just me doing disgusting things on camera for money? Is this? <laughs> right, so I've boiled the kettle. Oh yeah, I'm, I'll preheat the oven now. I should have done that like 10 minutes ago. Excuse me, you lot distracting me. This is the... This is the problem. Um, I did feel dirty. Um, I can't, who is that? I've got my glasses off. A few tarlic I did feel dirty, but now I've had a wash, it's fine. Um, so <laughs> right, we need the rest of the butter. Where's, where have I put that? Where have I put that? I foolishly opened the fridge and expected to see butter. Where have I put it? Sorry, Mara's here, she's scuttling around. Oh, there it is. Oh, everyone will be talking about this. Oh, clip that bit where you couldn't find the, the butter. Um, literally, your butter, you just cut it into little bits and just sort of chuck it around. And then, I mean, that that was almost a really nice little arrangement, but then I've I've got one more, so it's just going to go there and just wreck it. Now, what's that? That's not a pattern. That's, if you saw that in Zelda Breath of the Wild, you go, hang on a minute, there's a Korok seed here. The pattern's wrong. You know what I mean? Um, are people still being filthy in the chat? Unbelievable. This is a pre-watershed show 
This is why I've accidentally sworn twice, but I said sorry. Sorry, you know, <laughs> sorry, Dan Taggart, you, you don't want me to mention video games. Fine. Um, noted. Oh yeah, right, so you've done your butter, and then you get the rest of your muscle, another 200 grams of muscovado sugar, and you just go, wee, and you sprinkle it all over. I think you're probably supposed to do this then the butter. I don't think it matters, really. <clears throat> so now's the weird bit. You take your boiling water, or boiled, it's boiled about five minutes ago, but whatever. And then you literally, you just go, away. <laughs> And you pour it all over your sugar and your butter and your what have you. And then that's it. That will be your sauce. It's insane. We'll get that in the oven. Four. I'm setting the time, you can't see, I'm setting the timer on the oven. <laughs> 45 minutes, or thereabouts. Um, that's it, 45 minutes, that'll come out and it'll be amazing. Basically what happens is, as it, as it bakes, um, as the dough bakes, obviously the water and the sugar and the butter all melt through it and they become the, the that just makes a toffee sauce. Uh, 180 degrees, sorry, the oven. I always, I feel like I never even need to say that. When, when was the last time you cooked something that wasn't at 180 degrees in the oven? <laughs> um, am I going to eat all of this alone in front of the camera? No, because I don't think I've got time more than anything else. Plus, I haven't, if I could just walk through to the, the, the living room and sit down at the table and there was a camera there and, and that would work, I would do it. But I don't have that set up yet. Again, patreon.com forward slash TCGS. <laughs> Give generously, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, right, salmon time. I haven't, so that was mostly prepped, and you saw how badly that went. So, let's just see how we go with the salmon. Just gonna be tidy, just tidy up after myself. Because if I don't, this will be a nightmare by the end. Uh, do I need a chopping board? Yes, probably. But you know what? Let's let's be extra good. Let's just wipe down the surface. And get rid of the dates. Because they're not part of this. Right, what am I doing? So this. This. Where is it? There we go. This is from Lorraine Pascal's fresh, uh, Fast Fresh and Easy Food. It's a very good book. Would recommend it. Um, so yeah, so we're making warm salmon and lentils with chorizo, asparagus, and a balsamic dressing. However, there's a problem because when <laughs> uh, I went to Morrison's last night to get the ingredients for this, and they did not have any asparagus. Um, so I'm, it says in the in here, it says. I don't know if you can read that, probably not. I can't get it close enough. It says asparagus tips or green beans. And I think I've got green beans in. Yes, green beans. They, um, to be clear, Morrison's were supposed to have asparagus. I saw where they were supposed to be on the shelf and there were none there, and I took a picture as proof. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they, they, they do asparagus, they just didn't have any in, which to be fair is partly my fault for going at half nine on a Saturday night um, to get my stuff. Uh, am I too good for Lidl's? There isn't actually a Lidl where I live. 
Um, my wife works for Waitrose, so we get everything on staff discount from there. So we do tend to get stuff from Waitrose. Sorry, class traitor and all that. Um, but yeah. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's that too. What? Let's read the book that tells us. <laughs> so right, if you're following this, uh, so you need a bit of vegetable oil. Uh, you need two. <laughs> so it's two hundred twenty-five gram, approximately sustainably caught salmon fillets. I mean, Lorraine Pascal. I think you're making assumptions about my income here. Uh, <laughs> but whatever. Skin on. That's important, apparently. Um, where are we? 75 grams of spicy chorizo ring. Um, I haven't got a ring. I've got the pre-diced stuff because I'm cheating. Never mind. Uh, 100 grams of asparagus tips or green beans. Green beans are fine. Don't let anyone tell you different. <laughs> 400 gram tin of poi or green... Poi? 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 Poi or green lentils. Uh, two sprigs of fresh rosemary. I don't think I've got those either, whatever. Uh, and then for the dressing, uh, five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or EVOO, EVU, as they call it in the fancy pizza places now. Uh, three tablespoons uh, of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and then a pinch of English mustard powder or a small dollop of Dijon mustard, optional. I probably won't bother because for some reason I have some weird reaction to mustard. It like gets up my nose and I feel like I'm dying. Um, and then yeah, salt and freshly ground black pepper. Again, why freshly ground, Lorraine? What's your problem? Ugh, whatever, right. Put a medium frying pan with a good drizzle of oil in, uh, plus a large frying pan without oil in, on a medium heat. I mean, again, two frying pans, this is madness. Oh yeah, I could use the hob cam now, can't I? There you go. This, the camera that's on the hob is decidedly uh, worse than the other one, but maybe the autofocus won't be as bad, who knows. Um, right, that's one pan, I need another one. I've just found out. At some point, not today, at some point I will point a camera at the cupboards down here because they are an absolute disgrace. <laughs> they are so annoying. And we'll, that, we'll get onto that in a later episode. By the way, stone pan. Stone pan. I know it's a bit JML, but um, <laughs> I, I absolutely swear by them. You just, nothing sticks to them ever. They're unbelievable. Um, Right, so I got me two pans. Yeah, shy JML. You know, you see them in like, if you go to, if you go in like Wilco's or or back in the day Woolworths, and they'd be at like the at the end of an aisle, there'd be like a little promotional bit, and there'd be like a little LCD telly showing videos about how great. Yeah, there you go, Matt JML. is things at the end of aisles in Wilco's, exactly. Um, yeah, that's just JML as well. Anyway, yeah, they just make these weird interesting, seemingly gimmickly, but actually quite useful things. <laughs> um, right, medium heat for both of those, apparently. There we go. There's that. Oh, good, me, me stream deck's crashed. What a time to be alive. I mean, to be fair, I shouldn't actually need to... Um... There we go. It's back on. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I am open. Imagine Sean's house, uh, every square inch covered in CCTV. Where did all these cameras come from? Uh, Sean asks says Patreon. Well, no, I mean, so one of the cameras, so one's just in the laptop. Another one I bought ages ago. It was cheap and it was before I got the laptop. Um, and then the new one, which has the autofocus that everyone hates. Um, <laughs> That was, it was on sale and our Twitch money had just come in. So that, yeah, that, that, that's what paid for that. Um, but just think of how much better this is going to be um, when we've got some money from Patreon. Oh yeah, right. So the, so the medium frying pan needs a bit of oil in it. Sorry, a good drizzle of oil, it says in the book. Wham. 
Give that a give that a bit of the old bit of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, where are we? Right. As they heat up, dab the salmon fillets dry with some kitchen paper. I don't think I've got any. Have we got any kitchen paper? I don't think we have. I think it's just going to have to go in as is. Here's me salmon fillets. Have a good have a good look at them. Whoa, they absolutely stink. Um, I love these because they always have a little bit and they're like oh yeah just pull that and then it'll open seamlessly and they never ever do well they probably will on this occasion just to embarrass me oh yeah no that has, <laughs> that's totally worked uh. although this label's annoying yeah I'm just going to get a knife I've got to wash my hands. <sighs> Dear. Just let me in. That's all. <laughs> That's all I want. There we go. Cut through that. Bob's. Your dad's brother. I mean, I feel like this should be easier. <laughs> it is. Um, there we go. On the up, at least the skin stays on. Because that would be a, another 10 minutes on the stream. Have you ever... Is everyone asking me... Do I have, is everyone insisting that I throw a dab? How much... How much... How much, how much cash for a dab? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? So, so I'm not. I mean, I'm not dabbing them dry. Oh, I see. That's why, because I said dab. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, da, da, da. Season with salt and pepper. Lower the fish skin side down into the pan with hot oil and leave to cook for. It's got all oil on it. Five minutes. Sorry, it's got all the books knackered because we use it quite a lot. Um, right, fine. In you go, pal. I mean, that is definitely on a medium heat, but I don't feel like that's doing anything. So I'm probably going to turn it off. Oh, shall I use... Uh, shall I use the, the hive mind to set a timer? Hey, Google. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Starting now. Thank you. You are extremely welcome. I mean, a lot of people have ways of preparing for the future. Some hoard stuff, they get loads of water in. Um, some just... Oh, is everyone... <laughs> Time in everyone's house, amazing. Um, yeah, you know, some get guns. Some, you know, people do all sorts of weird, like, doomsday prepping. Um, my advice, be nice to the robots, be, be friends with them, because one day, do you know what I mean, they're going to, they're going to know, oh, this is the guy who always said thanks. Yeah? Future tip. <laughs> I mean, this is doing nothing, is it? I don't think that's a medium heat at all, I'm just going to whack it up. Because I'm impatient and stupid. Been with you. Right now, what they're doing? So that's in there. Doing. Oh, I never seasoned it, did I? Should probably do that. Bit of that. Where's me salt? Sea salt, mate. For a sea creature. I imagine that makes some sort of difference. 
Well, there we go. I can hear it. I can hear it sizzling. I'm going to stick the light on. It's got. I think the sun's buggered off. How's that? Any better? Um, let's do. I can't stand an electric hob. Me neither, mate. Um, but when we moved here, there was no gas in the kitchen, so electric hob it is. I really miss having a gas hob. Um, yeah, not a fan. Right, they're actually cooking now. That's nice. That's progress. Do, 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 do. Uh, meanwhile, make a slit down the side of the... Oh, yeah, so we're not doing that. We've already got dice to it, so, so that's fine. Which is, is from Waitrose, actually. Thank you. Um, then what? Lay the asparagus in one bunch, not using asparagus. Now on the chopping board, cut off the cut off the hard woody ends. All in one go. Blimey. Um, if you're using green beans, trim the stalk end of each. Toss the asparagus or green beans into the hot frying pan and then leave them to cook. Now I'm not going to do that yet because the green beans are frozen. So let's boil some water. I think they're all, yeah they're already trimmed as well. Um, not spaceship. Very impressed with Sean's calmness. Uh, I love cooking. We get stressed as soon as anyone is watching, let alone fifty odd people. Is how many bloody hell? Didn't realise how many people are watching. Now I feel physically sick. So that <laughs> um, no, I I'm normally the same. I hate it when people are like in and out the kitchen when I'm trying to make stuff because it's so like. I hate when people see the process of something getting made. I want to just disappear and then come out with something good at the end and be like, hey, this was magic, wasn't it? <laughs> but whereas, I mean, this, I don't know, this seems okay because the whole point is to show you the process. And also, none of you are actually physically here. If there were 50 of you all, like, crowded around, yes, that would be off-putting. <laughs> but I think we're okay. Um, right, kettle boiled. Oh yeah, this is probably going to steam up the camera. Apologies. Or maybe not. Patreon goal, feed the lot. Mate, I would love nothing more if we could do... <laughs> if we could have a meet and just do like a massive barbecue or something. That would be amazing. I have wondered. I mean, the weather's been a bit iffy still but if we have like a proper horrible heat wave again I'll I'll do a barbecue episode of this <laughs> that's not really on a rolling boil yet is it um, do I have a signature egg dish do you know what I really like and it's and it's absolutely scummy um, you know the, oh okay Google Thank you. I mean, that salmon's definitely nowhere near cooked, so I'm just going to ignore that. Um, whatever. Right, that looks like a rolling boil now, so let's chuck in some green beans. I mean, you don't need loads. 100 grams. Not that I'm measuring it, obviously. Probably enough, I imagine. Sorry, yeah, egg dish. Um, so you know, the supermarkets sell those like really cheap, like part baked baguettes, and then you stick them in the oven for ten minutes, and they come out seeming rel like freshly baked. Just one of them with absolutely loads of scrambled egg in it and butter. It's grim as, but I love it. I don't know what this pan's for yet, by the way, this one. I nearly touched it, that would have been a bad idea, wouldn't it? Burn myself live on stream. Um, okay, so once they're done, like thawed out, they'll just go in that pan with a treat, so. 
By now the fish is probably frying for about five minutes and the skin is hopefully nice and crispy. Flip it over and leave it to cook for another five minutes on the other side. Uh, is that ready to flip over, do we think? I might just give it a little bit longer. Um, drain the lentils in a sieve. I don't think I need to because they're just in a, in a, a, little, a little packet. Run your fingers down the length of the rosemary stalks uh, to release the leaves and then finally chop them. I'm not doing that because I haven't got any rosemary. Um, and then I need to make the dressing, but I'll get on to that in a minute. No rush is there. Probably do need to turn the salmon, don't I, Colin Ross? Oh, sorry, I don't, know, I don't know why I just came and just sat like... Like that for a minute. It was weird. <laughs> where's, me, where's my guy? Whoop. And whoop. Probably turn that down as well now. I don't want to nuke it. Um, a bit disappointed by this. Not really, not really boiling anymore. <laughs> um, what will I be drinking with this meal? I can tell you, James. I got some of. I don't know which camera is best to hold it in. Uh, Morrison's the best black cherry and cinnamon press egg. It's pretty nice and it's like £1.50 for a massive bottle. Look, they're not plugs. I just believe in giving credit where it's due. I do. <laughs> know what I mean? Alright, where's my sieve? I reckon they're like defrosted now. He's still only on three, so that's fine. Where's me chorizo? That I can't open. There's no, no thing on it. No thing on it. <laughs> I'm supposed to open it. Oh, there we go. Found the thing. There was a thing on it. Bang. Um, wooden spoon would be useful about now. Got it. Use this. How are these looking underneath? Pretty nicely done, actually. I'll give them a little bit longer just to crisp up. Right. So if you ever see me just like, just taking a moment and sort of zoning out and looking like here, it's because I'm just checking the chat. And if I ignore it, it doesn't mean that I'm not, that I don't like what you're saying. It just means I couldn't think of anything funny to say in return. Same's true on Twitter as well, <laughs> if anyone's curious. Uh, right, let's make the dressing. We need a mug, apparently. Do you know what, I'm going to make it in one of these. Because why not? Right, okay, so oil, vinegar, maple syrup, and mustard. So you literally just chuck it all in and whisk it. Amazing. Not got any tablespoons. We've got uh, there. We go. There we go. Although technically, as I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys, this is a dessert spoon, and no one actually has a table. Hardly anyone actually has a tablespoon. Tablespoon is the thing you use for like serving some stuff. 
So I don't know why so many recipes use tablespoons as a measure. It's really weird. I am going to take... Yeah, yeah I'm going to get the salmon off the heat, I think. So the hell, only 22 minutes left on the um, sticky toffee pudding. It's all right, isn't it? See, I was curious as to why you don't put any oil in this pan, but it, I don't know if you can see on camera, there's all weird chorizo juices. It's probably the whole point. Cool. I don't even know when the lentils come into this, by the way. Right, dressing. So I need five tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. From Waitrose, darling. One, two, three, four, five. Then what? Balsamic vinegar. Pretty short, yeah. Balsamic vinegar of Medina. From Waitrose, obviously. Uh, three tablespoons. One, two, three. Please explain how the chorizo tones mix with the asparagus stroke green beans, please. Mate, uh, this isn't that sort of food show. <laughs> I.e. one where the host actually knows anything about food. Um, that's fine. I mean, I keep chucking that around to make sure it doesn't burn, but it all seems fine. Um, what else? Maple syrup. Possibly... My favourite thing in the universe. One tablespoon of that, although to be honest, there's so little in the bottle I may as well just use the lot. And I'm not using mushroom, uh, the mustard powder, I will put a bit of pepper in it. Just to look like I'm making some sort of effort. Um, walk. One fork. So that's probably quite loud and annoying, isn't it? Um, there you go. There's your dressing. Easy. Right, check the fish is cooked. It is. Should be just opaque and nice and hot in the centre. Removed from the heat. Check the lentils and... Oh, was I supposed to... When was I supposed to put the lentils in? Drain the lentils in the sieve. Da, 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 da. I've both ingredients to reach the pan. Whoops. <laughs> in you go, lentils. I mean, we've got time. It's fine. Lentils way to lose your audience. What's wrong with what's wrong with with lentils? Yeah, you see, Colin's on side. He knows what's up. I'm just going to put the salmon on a very low heat just to stop it actually going cold. On account of my grievous error. JP Green Bean. <sighs> Lentils are something my nan uses instead of chips. I mean, to be fair, if that's how you, how lentils have been presented to you, I'm not surprised you hate them. That's bad. Um. That is, yeah. <clears throat> I 
Where are we? Oh, uh, W. Uh, I think I don't know if you've ever discussed this. It is pronounced Shawnee, isn't it? W Shawnee N W. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the for the sub. Um, Sorry, it's quite a boring bit of the stream now, isn't it? But just waiting for some lentils to get warm. Um, lentils are a good source of something you need in life. Um, yeah, it does. Ring your nan. I want to know. <laughs> I want an explanation for this. Can't wait to hear what Sean's catchphrase to close the show will be. I haven't got one. This is. This is it. Mate, this is the <laughs> um, 16 minutes on the sticky toffee pudding. So, yeah, so when that went in, it was 45 minutes. I had 45 minutes to go. This, the, the salmon and lentil business, is um, only supposed to take 15 minutes, so we're really milking it at this point. <laughs> I mean, they're probably done, right? It's not like you're actually like frying them, they're just heating them. Um, check the ones which are piping hot. Season them to taste and then divide between two plates. Well, obviously, I don't know why I'm cooking this for two. I'm on my own in the house, by the way. So this is completely absurd that I'm making... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm making make, I've clearly two pieces of salmon there. So I guess one I'll just plate it up and then bung it in the fridge. Um, as for the sticky toffee pudding, God knows what's going to happen to that. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'd say they're piping hot. Why? Why not? Right. Get some bowls out. Or oh, just one. So then all you do is you get your why is this what's happened to this? What's happened here? God, I've only just realised, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's all bloody uh, sticky toffee pudding stuff on my nice new apron. I mean I know that's literally the whole point of an apron, but um you know. It's upsetting, isn't it? I'm not licking it. I'm not licking the apron. <laughs> uh, can we vote on the next meal you cook? I mean, you can su suggest things. Um, but I'd rather, I don't know. I quite like the idea of like picking stuff for a while. But if anyone's got any suggestions, I'd, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, although I suppose if it's a vote, I can just present like three things I want to make. Um, and then go from there. Right, let's just bloody serve this then, eh? You got your salmon, you got your lentils. Actually, do you know what? You don't really need to see the hob anymore, do you? There you go. So there you go, that's that. And then you just get a bit of your dressing. I'll give that another. Another whisk. And then you just bang some of that over it. Whee, look at that. And there you go, that's your, your chorizo, salmon, lentils, asparagus, but not asparagus because it's green beans, and a balsamic dressing. One, one food made. <laughs> um, and obviously it's pretty good for you. I mean, there's a lot of, of you know, the dressings, maybe a lot of oil and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just salmon in it. Salmon and veg and lentils and that. Pulses. Um, the... The nice thing about not using asparagus, of course, is that my wee won't absolutely stink. Um, I'd always known that that was a thing for years. 
and never... I don't know, I never witnessed it and just thought, oh, it can't be that bad, surely. Um, and uh, it, it is, it really is a thing. It, it makes your wee smell like hot oil or something. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm, 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 you're going to make me eat it on stream? Fine. I mean, I've, we've got 12 minutes until I can show you the sticky toffee pudding, so... Fine. Fine, I'm doing it. Hello, Mara. You okay? Sorry, I know you can't see her, the dog's cutting around. Um, I would grab one of the cameras and show you, but she's like... It would mess up all the, the wires and that. Um, I should probably get a knife as well, though. All right. That way. So this is me eating my dinner live on the internet for the entertainment of strangers. That's what it's come to. God, it's really good. I mean, the fact that like, obviously the, the dressing is like, yeah, it's got balsamic vinegar, but it's also got maple syrup in it. So it's actually pretty sweet. Um, and just, yeah, dishes that get away with having meat and sugar in them are, well, I mean, they're, they're why I'm the shape I am, but you know, can't beat it. Slow mo mouth action. No, that's not happening. <laughs> you right, Mara? Are you hanging around because you know I'm probably going to give you a bit of this? Is that what's happening? Beautiful Spurs, subscribe to Twitch Prime. Literally while I'm just eating my dinner on camera. Weird, isn't it? Which is just, this is, I mean, has anyone really considered how absurd this whole <laughs> thing is? Because I have, I haven't been thinking about much else all week. It's bizarre. Like, I can't, I can't tell family members or people at work, like, they already struggle enough with the, <laughs> The whole, like, com oh, I, I do a show about computer games. Do you? Why? Do people think you're funny? Well, I, I think so, yeah. Um, but this, what is this? Why is this happening? <laughs> I mean, it's just as well. I was about to actually eat it, I got to stand quite far away from the camera so you can't see my, my all my gob actions. Um, so that's something. I could transition into an ASMR segment with the, the eating section, that's not a bad idea. Just set up two channels, one for making the stuff, another one for eating it. So we'll cut them off because you don't want people. It's really annoying when people try and do ASMR channels, and they'll be like, "Oh, this one's just like a, a non ASMR vlog, and I'll be doing one of these every two days." No, no, because there's a risk that it will just come on as an auto. YouTube will just auto play it. I'm not having it. Um, <laughs> just ask what the dish smells like. Should we? I mean, it smells like. I mean, obviously, the lentils and stuff don't really smell that much. The, it's mainly like the, the cooked salmon and the, the balsamic dressing. I don't, know what, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this gesture is with my hand. Oh, do you know what I mean? The, 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 mm, the balsamic, balsamic dressing. Um, Simon Soft, one, two, three. Well spotted. Fork in the right hand, despite not being left-handed. Um, don't know how that came about. I think it's just, as a kid... You just use a fork first on its own, and then, and obviously you put that in your, your good hand, 
and then when they add a knife, I'm not going to swap over, am I? It's insane. So, <laughs> so yeah. Mara's still hovering around because she wants a wants a dinner. Um, I use the fork with my left hand, and I'm left-handed. Well, that's. I mean, to me, that's yeah. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Follow up highway to Bell. Just reverse engineer the title into a Top Gear style challenge of the rest of the team driving old bangers up to wherever Sean is. That'll work. I'll be up for that. Make a change from me having to go to bloody London. You know what? Let's have a drink. Let's treat ourselves. Where's my nice glasses? The ones that have not yet been smashed. All right, go that way. Good girl. Here we go. Like an outdoor stream where Sean cooks entirely by campfire. I don't know if you heard near the start, I did say I'd, I'd be quite up for doing a barbecue one at some point. So let's just, there you go, there's that, and there's that on camera. Pouring myself a glass of fizzy pop like it's some sort of wine. It'd be cool if you cooked for the others at some point. Cams in kitchen and dining room. I'll be up for that. Well up for that. <coughs> Try up. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. Um, when I was first planning this, planning, um, I thought, do you know what, the first show, I'll try two courses and see how it goes, but probably, like, it'll be too much, and I'll probably just stick it to one, uh, stick to one in future, but actually, this has been okay, I mean, I've picked two quite easy dishes, maybe if I do, I don't know, I can think of some desserts and stuff I've made that have taken me, like, 40 minutes, so, <laughs> if I do some, something that's a bit more involved, maybe it'll just be the one course, but I feel like this has gone relatively all right. You've all just seen me drop some food out of my mouth. <laughs> no, ma'am. Ah, okay. Curly Hooligan has noticed I'm wearing my watch on my right wrist. Reason for that. Which camera's best? This. Fuck it. This one. Because um, it's a smart watch and it's got buttons on it and they're on. Oh, fuck me. This is not visible at all. There we go. It's got buttons on it. There. If I wear it on my left wrist, as I would normally, every time I do that, it pushes all the buttons on it. Um, really annoying, so I have to go on my right wrist. Um, you would think, it being a smartwatch, you could just turn it upside down and tell it, there you go, Matt, thank you. Um, yeah, not a thing on Android Wear, apparently. Um, yeah, you would think you'd just be able to get it to flip the display and then wear it the other same round, uh, the way around. But no. So that's weird. In case you're new to saying, I do feel weird eating in front of everyone, but I am also starving, so, you know. Um, not especially, you meant to wear it on your left. Well, I assume so. You would think, like, why not just give you the option? Either way. Um, how long until pudding? 
Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. I mean, I'm definitely not going to eat that on camera because I'm not even finished this yet, but it'd be nice just to show you what it looks like. You want, okay, everyone wants me to have a bit of the pudding. Fine. <laughs> I have not got a pint of cream. Um, but I've got a, I've got like a bit of double cream left over from something new made the other day. I'm not eating the salmon skin. That's for the dog. She loves it. Um. Did you follow eating standing up is the worst? Yes, it's really weird. Especially when it's just like a kitchen worktop, so you sort of lean in, lean down. Like if I, I could eat standing up if the if it was the table was like here, that'd be fine. Um But yeah. I'll probably get these out of the way. This is a long two minutes. Oh, there we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get it out. So, let's, um, do you know what, I'll make room, let's get this out of the way. So that, ooh, fuck me, that's hot. <laughs> Where'd I put the oven gloves? There you go, there's your, there's your sticky toffee pudding. Um, obviously it, it looks dry on top because all the, the sauce has like soaked through and gone underneath. So let me get a bowl. Actually this will do. And I'll just smash a bit out. Using a spoon I haven't got. I've got some, where is it? Mara, out of the bin. Just get out of the bin, Mara. <laughs> Where's me big spoon? Sod it. Plastic one it is. Hang on. Get the ovens over again. So hopefully there'll be, I don't know if you can see this a little bit. Um, There'll be like a bit of a crust on top. It should have dried out a little bit. And then you just bang that in there. And then you can see, just pull it over. It's so underneath, but all that is just your toffee sauce. So you just smash it on there, get a bit of the sauce from underneath. Bang that on top. By the way, if you want to adjusting my glasses and the bloody uh, oven glove on. Um, if you want to make this a bit seasonal, I once made this as a Christmas dinner dessert, just bunged in a load of ginger and cinnamon, it was really nice. And yeah, it was just sort of a Christmassy, sticky toffee pudding. Need another spoon. Get that off. And then, cinnamon, Darren, is the absolute best. Uh, custard or cream, did you follow your asks? Uh, personal preference. 
I'm a cream man generally, although proper vanilla custard with the, the little seeds in it, good stuff. So yeah, just chuck way too much double cream on it. Partly because it's nice and partly because it's cold and makes the hot pudding suitable for my tiny baby mouth. <clears throat> also, I've got a tiny baby spoon because I couldn't find a full size one. <laughs> Right, let's have it. God, it's so good. So good. It's just... It's one of those things. You find out how to make it, and you're just like, is that it? One of my favourite desserts in the world. And it's just, it's just a load of stuff in a bowl. And <laughs> I'm not doing a close-up of me eating sticky toffee pudding. It's disgusting. So, how's it going to be getting some sneaky pub tomorrow? No, guys, it's not here until he's away at his, his grandparents until like tomorrow evening. So, um, he ain't getting none of this. Actually, to be fair, there's bloody loads of it, so maybe he is. Right. So, I've got it all in my tash now. Right. Where are we? So that's it. Um, I feel like that went surprisingly well. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can definitely see all the um, the stuff on my apron. That's a shame. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I I am surprised how much I've enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be like good, but quite stressful. It's not been too bad at all, really. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks uh, so much for watching. Matt, I'm, uh, uh, I owe you an apology. You sent me a new sign off screen and I didn't get time to put it on because I was sorting stuff out in the kitchen. So it's just gonna be a generic one. Um, but yeah, uh, patreon.com forward slash TCGS. <laughs> um, also, Matt is gonna be streaming in like 15 minutes. He's gonna be streaming Bloodborne. Um, so, so stick around for that. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to be doing these, like how, re I mean, obviously there's going to be at least one a month, um, but um, it's going to be sort of weird sort of deciding when to do it based off like when I've got the kitchen to myself and, and what have you. Um, plus it'd be nice to do, so you know, I said I'd not be nice to do a barbecue one, it'd be nice to do like a, a breakfast one or something. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, but it'll be announced on our Twitter and on the show and stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, uh, and take care, have a good week, a good weekend, enjoy your bank holiday, it's bank holiday tomorrow, if you are lucky enough to not be someone who works bank holidays, um, have a good one, and take care, cheers.